Hey guys, today I'm showing you a really cool force, really easy, and I'll be using my circle back tally hose, which are one of my favorite decks to use. So, let's, uh, I'll show you the force first, okay? I will be forcing you the nine of diamonds. I'm going to put the nine of diamonds in the seventh position. I'll tell you straight up, I'm putting it in the seventh position, but I'm going to force it to you. Watch this. So I'm going to put in the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh position in the deck. I will leave it face down and notice there's no nine of diamonds uh, after that in the deck and you can even take a look right here there's no nine of, nine of diamonds so obviously this is the only nine of diamonds okay now it's in the deck in the seventh position now I'm gonna say okay I want you to th think of a number between six and ten let's say they said nine watch this ready three six nine what do you come to the nine of diamonds let's try this again i'll keep it in indeed the seventh position of the deck let's say you said eight okay two four six eight and what do you land on the nine of diamonds let's try this again let's uh... say you said ten okay uh... so that's three six plus four is ten you land on the nine of diamonds Let's try that indeed one last time. Get make sure. All right. So that. Yeah, all right. So seventh position of the deck. Oh no. All right. Well, I lost it. Uh, let's just use indeed the four clubs or four hearts. Let's say you said uh, I don't know six. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six. You land on the four hearts. So, how do you do this? It's actually very simple and very easy. And you'll probably already know how it's done. Basically, what you do, you get your force card. In this case, I will be using the seven of diamonds. You put the seven diamonds in the seventh position of the deck. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll leave it face up. That way you can see it and you can follow it. Alright? So, it's in the seventh position of the deck. Now, you say to your spectator, I want you to think or say a number between six and ten. All right. Now, uh, later on, I will tell you how you can uh, in make that uh, number a little bit greater, so you can say six to nineteen. All right. But right now, let's do six to ten. All right. Now, I'll start from six and go up to ten. If they say six. You know it's in the seventh position, so you're going to count off six cards, five, six, and just take the very next card, the seven diamonds. If they say seven, you're going to deal down seven cards and take the seventh card. That's pretty easy. That's an easy way to force a card. Um, I'm pretty sure you know that one. Now, eight. You probably already know because I did it in the video. What you do is you're just gonna put down a pairs of two. So two, then four, then six, and then eight, and you'll always land on this, th your force card, the seven of diamonds. Now let's uh, pretend that they said indeed nine. Okay, what you're doing for nine instead of two pairs where you put down two cards, you're actually putting down pairs of three. So three, and then six, and then nine, and you land on the seven of diamonds. All right. Now I know the last one, which is indeed ten. So we'll put it in the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven position, and you're gonna start it off like you're counting to nine. So you're gonna count in threes. You're gonna go three and then six and the last one you're gonna put down four cards instead of three okay because three or six plus four equals ten and you'll land on the seven of diamonds alright now let's check out how indeed to make it so they can count up all the way to nineteen alright You want to make this range a little bit bigger so it's not as obvious that you're forcing the card. Let's use uh, the two of diamonds now. We're still going to keep it in, indeed, we're going to actually keep it in the seventh position still. Alright, so that's one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven position, I'll leave it face up, all right, so you can see this. Now, you ask your spectator to name a number between six and indeed 19, but for now, let's get rid of uh, six and 10, because we already know how to force those, okay? 11 through 19. Let's say it was indeed 12. You may already know this mathematical principle, all right? But say they said 12, you can go, all right, so 12 is made up of two numbers, 1 and 2. If you add those together, you get 3. Subtract that from the original number, and you get 9, right? So, because 12 minus 3 equals 9. Then you do your 9 force, which is 3, 6, 9, and you land on the 2 of diamonds, all right? Now, let's try this again. Let me just count off six. All right, so it's in the seventh position. Let's try a different number because actually, if you do that whole adding up the numbers and then subtracting from the original, it will always equal nine from indeed actually ten through nineteen. So it'll always work. Let's try another one just to be sure. Let's go all the way up to nineteen. So nineteen. Let's add up the two numbers. That's nine and one, which equals ten. Subtract 10 from 19, and you get 9. So let's count off 9 cards. Once again, you just do the 3, 6, and you land on the 2 of diamonds. All right? So that's basically how you force the card. It's so simple, so easy. Now, let's just recap on what you need to do when they say a number between 6 and 10. All right? Say they said 6, you just deal down 6 cards and take the very next one. They said seven, you just take the seventh card, which would be your fourth card. They said eight, you deal down, remember, two cards, and then eight, and they land on the card. And then they say nine, like we've been doing, you put down pairs of three, and ten, which is a little bit trickier, a little bit different, but not much, you just put down three, six, and then four cards, which equals ten, all right? So that indeed is the force. It's fa fairly simple, so easy. You can make a prediction in the beginning. Um, let's say the two of diamonds. Force the two of diamonds on there, on them. So simple, very, very easy. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, uh, don't hesitate to click the subscribe button. That's it. All right. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace out.